starts now. Good Tuesday evening. There is an uptick in the number of calls for ivermectin to poison control centers across the nation, including here in the Central Valley. 23 ABC's Vanya Patino joins us in the studio to explain the dangers of self-medicating with this specific drug. Vanya. That's right, Keely. While the California Poison Control Center continues to warn people seeking other options to protect themselves from COVID to be wary of misinformation as it could be dangerous. Ivermectin helping people um, either avoid catching COVID or if they have COVID that it will help cure um, their illness. None of that is true. Vora says before, the calls regarding ivermectin were rare and mostly from children accidentally ingesting it. But that has now changed. And many times um, it's pretty benign or people are just calling to get information. But at other times it's too late. There have not been any fatalities related to ivermectin in California, but people have had to be hospitalized. Those who take too much can get nausea, vomiting, diarrhea and dehydration, which Dr. Rora says obviously does not set you up to fight a viral infection. But even more seriously, they can get nerve uh, problems to where they uh, have nerve tingling, sometimes even tremors, uh, sometimes even seizures, hallucinations, and coma. He says there is a form of this drug approved for humans that is used to treat parasites and skin conditions. But given you need a prescription for these, people are turning to versions approved for animals, which is very different. Um, while there is research being done about this, it's really not at the level where um, in the U.S. we recommend ivermectin for COVID. Vora adds that many who are perfectly healthy and are taking it to prevent COVID will end up sick instead and will have done nothing to prevent COVID. Meanwhile, for those who do have COVID, taking it will give a false sense of safety and delay them from getting the care they really need. It's not worth taking this medication. Uh, really, you know, leave the horse medication to the horses and take the human medication, which is the vaccines. There are ongoing clinical trials for this drug as a COVID-19 treatment, but there is no real data to show it works. As of now, U.S. health agencies like the FDA and CDC say ivermectin is not safe and does not work to treat COVID. Reporting live in the studio, Fani Patino, 23ABC, connecting you. Thanks, Fania. Some good information there tonight.